Yo, yo. Yo, yo. So we're gonna check out Andrew and his guitar and also his board here. So uh, you're just gonna uh, narrate through this so people understand. Uh, so I'm gonna move the camera to the board and we're gonna look at it. So just let's talk about it, man. So what do you have here? All right, uh, this is my uh, pouring recording board and okay. also like a New York size board that I kind of bring around. I have a slightly bigger board uh, back back home. Okay. But this is uh, what I brought for Julian Marine's latest album recording and also like a couple shows in Germany and Switzerland. So here the, I have some new additions to my board. Uh, this is the the Universal Audio Golden Reverberator, which is okay. their reverb pedal. Okay. And this is the their Starlight Echo Station, also by from Universal Audio UA, which is their delay pedal. Okay. So, and here we have um, the Line Six HX Stomp, which is kind of the brains of my setup. Okay. I kind of have it to all the utility things like extra delays, sustain pedal, like a harmonizer tuner very important mm -hmm. you know extra reverbs if i need to stack them with these other pedals right yeah this is by line six okay and the this is one of my favorite pedals this is uh the kingsley page page version two not the page ds this one is a tube boost there's an actual 12 ax7 preamp tube in, in this pedal and uh there's a uh, it has a super nice like tube boost mild overdrive sound it almost simulates like a, a cranked amp okay yeah yeah and this is also by kingsley the, the kingsley harlot version 3 and this is a tube overdrive it's based on something like the page it's based on the page circuit but with a like a jfet hitting the harlot so it, it produces a more distortion it can get pretty pretty heavy okay and what do you have here uh this is a a controller by a uh, hot tone the ampero control it's just a midi controller so i can control extra stuff here because this you can see this only has uh, three foot switches i have one for the tap tempo tuner one for a uh, vibrato one for um, a harmonizer so this activates the rest of the pedals okay. oh okay mm -hmm. so it's an extension of the yeah, yeah. okay Absolutely, cool yeah. so uh what's the signal flow like wh what goes to where and how it's very straightforward. You just go from right to left. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Okay. So, so the last thing is the reverb. The reverb, yeah. Okay, reverb. Mm -hmm. Last thing. Okay, cool. Um, why don't you j just like, you know, I don't know, play some of the sounds that you can get from your rig here. Sure. Again. Yeah. So this is the clean sound. No pedals. The reverb I really love. This is set on the chamber 224 mode. This adds a nice ambiance. And the pedal also has a preset mode, which I saved the more ambient sounding preset. That's the reverb. That's the reverb. There's a preset mode which spills over. So if you hear, and I go to the other one, the other reverb is smaller, but the the, re the decay of the preset mode is still spilling over into, oh, into the golden. Okay, okay. And the same with the starlight if you do okay. that. So the starlight has this uh, tape delay sound. Let me make it a little more obvious. Which I really like. It adds a very nice ambiance. like an analog kind of delay, a very dark delay with a harmonizer and I combine that with the ambient part of the golden it sounds really nice, it swells Yeah, for the HX Storm, I have it do a bunch of things. Right now, I have it with, like over here. Uh -huh. I have a vibrato. Okay. Check out that delay a little bit. This adds a bit of volume to the sound. And here, 
here I have some extra delay to stack. Just thickens up the sound a little bit. Just without it again. With the extra delay. It's great for playing like ballad melodies. And here, I, re I really like this sound. It's almost like a like a granular looper. It takes a phrase that you're playing and kind of loops like a few milliseconds of it. So check mm -hmm. that out. between a looper and a freeze pedal yeah yeah exa exactly like it's like it splits the difference and you can have it like kind of splice different points so this is it the line line six that's right yeah oh nice and one my one of my favorite parts of the line six is this sound it's the poly capo it takes uh let me see it takes a uh, different notes that you play and polyphonically shifts them that means it can like uh, uh harmonize a whole chord so let's say i'm playing a chord progression right without it Check this out. Yeah, lots of cool textures. Yeah, I can play that for hours. Wow. Yeah, yeah it sounds it sounds super thick and super cool. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And then the page, this mm -hmm. is huge. Pedal. It kind of enhances the clean sound a little bit. Without it. Oh, yeah, I can hear the difference. Makes it a little thicker. Mm -hmm. And we have the Harlot, which is the Kingsley's distortion, like almost like heavier distortion. setting for like when you're playing the chords and when you're playing the lead or how, do, how does it work what oh, distorted oh with this with the king's lead the, the cool thing is it cleans up really well mm -hmm. because there's a t there's a tube in it right and yeah. it's run, run at full voltage like i think 240 volts okay so, so you play soft oh. roll down your volume then. it gets super <laughs> the same setting it's just yeah. like because it responds because of the tube yeah even if i you if i even if i don't touch the volume knob check it out Just for the benefit of everyone, talk a little bit about your guitar. That's your guitar you're using. Okay, yeah, this is a Warmoth uh, Telecaster. It's kind of like a parts caster. Okay. Which is a uh, Warmoth is like this company where you can order different parts and you mm -hmm. kind of put your guitar, own guitar together. I didn't put this together. Okay. Uh, I I found it in a shop outside, on a window in Boston. Okay. One of my friends, he he owns the shop. He oh. he uh, had this guitar there from a friend who was uh, who moved to LA actually at okay. the time. So he just put it there to see if someone wanted to buy it. So I just grabbed it off and uh, wanted, and I, I fell in love. It's like my main guitar now. And uh, it has uh, Seymour Duncan hot rails mm -hmm. in it. Maple top, chamber walnut body, mm -hmm. um, mahogany neck, uh, rosewood fingerboard. That's kind of it, yeah. Okay, very cool. Cool. Um, yeah, just talk a little bit like uh, when you are back in New York like yeah. what amp do you use because you don't have your amp here obviously right right uh, I for recording I use a Tyler HM18 okay which is, is their 
box kind of circuit. Mm -hmm. Tyler is this builder in uh, New Jersey. He, he makes really great stuff. That That is his like box AC15 circuit, but with like a bigger power section, from, okay. like a Marshall 18 watt power section. It sounds really good so on a brighter side, more mids. I also have a, a Fender Tone Master Deluxe Reverb, okay. which I use for, uh, it's much lighter, so I use it to, to do gigs more, more, yeah. Because the Tyler is a tube amp, you know, in New York, most people don't drive, I don't drive, so I just use it for recordings. Okay, yeah. I see what you mean. And uh, when, you, when you tour uh, with different projects, uh, do you ask for certain amps? Do you bring your own amp? What's the story? Uh, usually I will ask for, for an amp, usually like a twin reverb, Fender Twin Reverb or uh, if I can if I can have both then a Vox AC30 and a Fender Twin or Deluxe Reverb in stereo that's ideal for me mm. you know. if you had only one which one do you ask I would go for the Fender because uh, they usually fit every kind of style mm. you know, okay. Fenders are always reliable okay awesome thanks so much Andrew yeah. thanks so much for showing us your rig I'll post the links to all of Andrew's socials so you can check it out and ask him more questions he also has a YouTube channel where he's testing out different pedals and stuff so you can check out his his own channel uh, for more you can check out his own channel for like more um, high fidelity audio you can really hear what he's doing and he's playing so check it out okay so thanks, thanks again guys. Man. see you around bye bye, bye.